It's come a long way and I'm so proud of her. I never used to wear my hair up or off my face in a ponytail or even like this because I was self-conscious and now I can. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Ali and today I'm gonna tell you how I cleared my skin. So I watched a lot of these YouTube videos when I was struggling with my own skin, when my acne was really bad, and I thought it was time that I made one of my own. So recently I tweeted this out, and was just kind of reflecting on how much my skin has changed. It's weird because now I don't think that much about my skin, and that is kind of mind blowing to me because it used to be the biggest insecurity and I was constantly thinking about it. But having clear skin is something we really take for granted, I'm sure. You'll know if you are currently struggling with your skin or have previously in the past. You're so hyper aware of it all the time because it's not really like something small in your body that you can hide. It's something that people see whenever they see you. It's the first thing people see, or at least you feel like it is. So anyway, I wanted to make this video just to share my experience and tell you guys how I personally cleared my skin. I'm not a dermatologist, obviously, and I'm not saying that this is the miracle formula or this will work for everyone. This is just personally what helped me. And second disclaimer, if you currently are struggling with your skin, if you currently have acne or rosacea or pimples or spots or scarring or anything like that, please don't think that it makes you any less worthy, any less beautiful, any less of a human. This is just something that I was really self-conscious about and I know a lot of people still are. I want this to come from a place of love and I think that honestly helps. The way we talk to ourselves and treat ourselves and live, that really shines through. So the way you treat yourself is going to affect that anyway. That's tip number one, I guess. <laughs> so a bit of back Background. I hit puberty pretty late. I was a late bloomer, which I recommend. That was quite nice. But it means that I went through most of high school without experiencing much acne. I would get like a pimple here and there, and at the time I was like thinking that was the end of the world. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. And then it wasn't until I was really um, towards the end of high school and after graduating that I really experienced any breakouts. I will try and find some photos of myself in high school when my skin was clear. It was really, really hard to find photos when my skin was at its worst because I just didn't take any and I wouldn't let others take any either. I'll try and insert some that I do have. So these photos here are from 2012. If you look at my forehead, you can see it's like really starting to break out. They're not just like little pimples, they're quite red and aggravated. Sorry if this grosses anyone out, but hey, it's just skin. This is kind of the start of it. Obviously it wasn't too bad yet, but I was just starting to feel really, really self-conscious. And this next set of photos, you can see it a lot more clearly. So this was then a year later in 2013. I got my wisdom teeth out and I wanted to take these photos because I was very high on pain meds and I just thought it was hilarious. Obviously my entire face is quite red. There's just spots everywhere, particularly on my forehead, around my mouth, around my jawline. And this is one of the few times that I actually have photos from that era, just because I was obviously so self-conscious. If I do have any more photos from when my skin was at its worst, I will put them in here. I remember feeling so self-conscious about my skin and then the absolute worst moment for me was I went to get my eyebrows threaded one day and the woman who was doing them commented on my skin and when you have bad skin you feel like everyone's looking at you and noticing it but I tried to convince myself it wasn't true and no one cared and I do think that's true and I, and I do think you shouldn't care what other people think but this woman that was threading my eyebrows obviously knew a lot about skin as well and they stocked products there and she commented on how bad it was and just like how it looked really painful and that was really hard to hear. I was very, very self-conscious at the time, but they did have some products which they sold me, which in hindsight is probably the only reason she mentioned it. Cause she was like, oh, here, I have this, this will help you. Spoiler alert, it didn't. They had these really expensive products and creams and did nothing for me. I then went and saw a doctor, maybe he was a dermatologist, I don't remember, but he wanted to put me on Accutane, which if you don't know, you probably do if you're watching this video, but it is a very strong drug, which basically dries your skin up and gets rid of pimples. I've heard nothing but like good things about this drug. I know the side effects are pretty intense with dry lips and whatnot, but the friends of mine that have gone on Accutane when they were teenagers have the most perfect skin now out of anyone I know. So I think it looks amazing and it sounds amazing. But at the time, when I did my research on it, one of the potential side effects was depression, for lack of a better word. It was, you know, it could affect your mental state, and make you feel a bit low. And personally, I was already struggling with depression, not because of my skin or anything like that, just because of a chemical imbalance. And so I 
didn't want to take that risk and feel even worse. I was in a really bad mindset at the time. I'm quite glad that I didn't take that risk and just sort of said to myself, no, that's not the right option for me. If you decide that is the right step for you, I totally respect that because it seems like an amazing drug. I would just say do your own research and see if it's right for you. So now flash forward to the end of 2013, my whole life basically changed. So I can remember I read online somewhere that dairy really, really impacted your skin. Now at the time I was a dairy fiend, like I ate yogurt all day long. I remember someone said to me recently, they used to think I was sponsored by Chobani, the American yogurt brand, because I just had it all the time and I posted it all the time on my Instagram. When in reality, I just loved yogurt. And during this time and like in the years prior, I had a very healthy diet, or at least what I thought was a healthy diet. I ate like a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, a lot of whole foods in their natural state but I'm gonna wait for that helicopter to pass. Thank you. So this so-called healthy diet that I was following, it was very, um, I would say natural, like I had a lot of fruits, vegetables, grains, but the one thing I did have a lot of and too much of ultimately was dairy. I had yogurt all day long. Um, I'll put in a photo of my fridge here that I have from that time. I would say I had almost a liter of yogurt every day. Okay, maybe half a liter, but still that is a lot. And I thought I was really healthy and besides that I was, but yeah, I've later come to learn that dairy, it actually leaches the calcium out of your bones because it's obviously intended for baby cows and it's, it's given to a baby cow from its mum to make it grow incredibly rapidly you know, makes a baby calf grow into a cow as quickly as possible. In the human body, that's just gonna wreak havoc. No wonder my skin was breaking out because all of these toxins and hormones and you know, whatever else is in there was coming out through the skin. Our skin is our biggest organ and it covers our whole body. So when we have something inside of us that needs to get out, it's gonna excrete through your pores. And so I cut it out for 30 days. Initially, my skin got a little bit worse. It became a little bit more inflamed and it was breaking out a little bit more. And then the most amazing thing happened. My skin started to clear up. And this was after years and years and years. And I basically haven't looked back. Also at the time that I ended up giving up dairy, I also stopped eating meat. But I don't think that has as much of a correlation as dairy because I mean, the evidence linked with skin and dairy is crazy. I'll put a bunch of info down below if you want to read it yourself. And I also want to talk about the things that impact my skin now today. So I do still get breakouts from time to time, just like pimples here and there. And it's funny now that that bothers me, whereas back then I wouldn't have given anything to just have like one or two pimples and not a full red face. I do still kind of have a bit of discoloration on my skin, but I find I just wear like a light sunscreen or tinted moisturizer most days and it's fine. I, I feel confident in it, but I will show you the products that have really helped me just take it from a nine to a 10, I guess I would say. So the first I will show you is what helped me get rid of the acne scarring. Mostly up here and a little bit on the side, I was left with kind of just a little bumpiness and a bit of redness. When you've had acne for that long, it, it kind of leaves a little bit of a mark on your skin, but this really helped me clear it up and make it kind of good as new. And that is rosehip oil. So it looks like this. And I know some people really are against oils for your skin. That personally isn't true for me. I think oils are really helpful in having healthy skin. And I find that when I do add oils to things, it brings out that natural glow in my skin in general. Oh my God, take a shot every time I say skin. But everyone might be a little bit unique because I've said, I've read some people saying that coconut oil really clogs their pores and is bad for them. Whereas for me, it is a miracle. I could sleep in a mask of coconut oil and then wake up totally refreshed and glowing and moisturized. So find out what works for you and just, you know, test it. Yeah, oils are my skin's best friend. The next product is the Holy Grail. I've talked about this in a favorites video before. And if I could, you know, only ever have one skin product forever, it would be this. But it is the Mario Badescu drying lotion. This little bottle looks like that. Basically, all you do is dab a little cotton bud in there, get a bit of the lotion and like put it on a spot. And if you do that before bed, you will wake up and the spot will be gone. Basically, it is a miracle worker. And then the last product is also by Mario Badescu and it is their facial spray. This is the one with aloe, herbs and rose water. They also have one which is cucumber based. I just like this one personally. I spray it when I wake up in the morning. I just find it really refreshing. It brings the moisture back to my face. And I also really like this oil. It is coconut oil, evening primrose and acai berry by Raw this little skincare company. That has also been amazing for my skin. As you can tell, the bottle's empty. A little dropper before bed 
works wonders. And then the other things that help my skin are sweating. So exercising often and getting my heart rate up and sweating, but then also immediately showering afterwards so that I get the sweat off and cleanse it. And I really like finishing my showers cold. So I'll try and do like 30 seconds no, that's a lie. I can probably only do about 10, but I'll do like really, really ice cold water and it just helps close your pores. It's also really good for your hair. What else? I feel like crying is great for your skin. Like whenever I cry, you just get that beautiful glow afterwards. So if you have anything on your mind, please let it out. It's great for your mental health and for your skin too. Eliminating dairy from my diet has not only helped my skin, it's helped in every realm possible. It's never something that was intended for the human body to process. So I definitely recommend that. The levels of acne that we see today are a lot higher than they used to be. And that also correlates with the amount of processed food in our diet, as well as dairy, obviously. Dairy products used to be a more of a luxury and you know, only really eaten in smaller amounts. Like you might have a bit of milk in your coffee in the morning or um, with cereal, but now dairy is in everything. So taking a look at your diet can really, really help. If you have personally cleared your own skin or are doing that currently, I would love to hear from you what is working for you or what you're trying. Um, let's just have a chat about it in the comments. Just wanted to say again how loved you are and it doesn't matter what your skin looks like. It doesn't matter if you have freckles or acne or scars or anything. You are beautiful and you are worthy and you are amazing. If this video did help you guys, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me and helps my channel. And if you would like to see from me like more products that I use, maybe makeup or anything like that, let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear some feedback from you. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell if you want to know when I post a new video and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye. <laughs>